Hi everyone, Scott with Cyberscribe.org, and in the last video I showed you how to connect to a uh, remote host for uh, so you can manage those virtual machines remotely. So this is my remote host here, 192.168, blah, blah, blah. Uh, all these machines here, these are all virtual machines on that remote server. So uh, that was all set up, that was good to go, but uh, you know, when you have this kind of situation, you want to be able to access them, you want to be able to create new virtual machines, uh, and uh, you know, configure and uh, use these here. But one issue that I was having was I would go and let's say I'd start it up right now. I would get the prompt for the password and I'd do the password and hit enter and the password would the prompt would keep coming up over and over and over and over again. Uh, this thing would come up too. Uh, SSH password dialog could not grab the keyboard input. And that would come up every time as well and uh, just over and over and over again, five times, ten times, probably more than that. I, I kind of lost count. But uh, anyways, what I was looking at is that's, uh, that seems to be an issue with the display server. So Spice is your default server here. And so you create a virtual machine, your display is autom automatically going to be Spice. All right. Well, that's what seemed to be causing the problems for this remote connection here. Keep in mind, I'm on Fedora 21. So it might be different from some other distributions, might have uh, experienced something a little different. But uh, in my case, it wasn't working. I couldn't get on the virtual machines because it was just kept prompting me for the password. Uh, people were talking about exchanging SSH keys and then you shouldn't have that. I still got that same prompt after I did all that. So uh, after a little looking, I just changed the uh, display server to VNC. Did that and and it asked you for the password so this thing is what kept coming up I'd just enter the password and it would just ch pop up again keep popping up like that All right so here you can see it's actually working because it only uh, requested it once and you see we're already booted up there alright so uh, just be aware though that the the default is spice this display server there. So uh, if you're having the issue like I was having where it was kept keeping uh, asking you about the password over and over and over again, well, change your server to VNC. Do that, and then you just have to enter your password once, and then you should be good to go right there. All right. So that's my workaround. Uh, there might be other ways, but uh, you know, in the time that I uh, had on this, this is uh, what I was able to do. So uh, the point is. With VNC, it's up and running, and we can now manage virtual machines remotely right here. So that's all I had for this video, and uh, stay tuned for future videos.